Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Masks and New Generation on Charisma 2 AC. We're playing, what else? Masks and New Generation. The specific game in question is, well, the heroes in question, I guess, are Halcyon City Defenders. I am Daniel. I have the honor and pleasure of being your GM and the host of the show. And with me today are Joan. Hello. Brain. Hello. Rasmus. Hi. Thalmid. Hello. And AJ. Oh, hi. All right. So we're going to be playing some teenage, uh, some teenage superhero shenaniganry. Let's play some RPGs. So when last we played, stuff happened. You want us to play rocket propelled grenades? Exactly. That's, <laughs> that's dangerous. I don't care. I live for danger. That's why I'm Damn. a GM. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, last session, um, so stuff definitely happened, and uh, I guess the one with the most st with the most horses in yes, like last time's race was uh, was Nightshade. So, Thalmid, why don't you tell us what happened? Uh, so we kind of had a tribute issue to Adam West since he uh, passed away not too long ago, and. My best friend, one of my obligations for my Janus playbook, was turned into a Neanderthal. And so, and we lost him, so now we have to go find him and get him back. Good stuff. Yep, that is definitely what happened. You you uh, went to deal with an attack on a uh, chemical company called Mountain Work Chemicals. Um while there you you met the person who was causing the the incursion uh an old gold generation villain uh called the wisecrack um who uh synthesized some some kind of chemicals using like a a a, a, a piece of machinery set up for that purpose somewhere in deep laboratories of this uh, of this uh company you were uh, you were inside and uh, managed to escape as you were saving the uh, saving the people of um, uh, s saving the people who were in danger uh, during the attack. And of course, uh, also kidnapped your your friend, who you did manage to knock out before leaving. So mm -hmm. I need to, I need to uh, correct myself because last time a thing I uh, I think I said was uh that you like because you'd been saving a bunch of people like there was been a lot of commitment to helping people and i thought it was super cool so i thought that like um as you were leaving i thought well the right thing here would be because i also described like the police starting to set up barriers and so on would be that like, like people waiting behind the police barriers who would like cheer as you as you emerged triumphantly with the last survivors um but i'm gonna retcon that because I remembered just after we'd stopped recording that none of you were in your superhero getups. And <laughs> I don't feel like we all agreed that you would be like faces on camera kind of overt about it. So you, you can you can all just like feel free to to like ho hold it to be true that a lot of people were cheering for the heroes who like helped the people here and there's probably like an, a nicely worded headline. In the in tomorrow's newspaper, but but you're all very welcome to like not have like just walk down and be like, hey everybody, this is what <laughs> I look like. We will be the elusive heroes who didn't come out after. Why did you just turn into Doctor Nick? Why not? <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. To be fair, Finn, Finn, like Finn, Finn does not care really. It's <laughs> just like because he was like basically. Uh, in his best Steve Blackman get up, so sweat, sweatpants, and no shit. No yeah, shirts. but you were also carrying <laughs> two of your teammates. Oh, uh, yeah. Who that, 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 I assume you're guarding. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, Diamond does not have like a particular get up for your get up. So. No, but di di yeah. Diamond, like, no. di Diamond is hidden by like the, the inherent anonymity of her get up. Yeah. Um,. But yeah, okay. So just just so so you're aware of that of that little retcon. Uh, but yeah, upon upon ending the last session, um, we were in the uh, we were in your you guys's the largest possible air quotes lair uh, in your ramshackle shitty arcade, um, and and Diamond was regaining consciousness. Uh, problem is that uh, uh, s uh, s something had uh, uh, as as she was regaining consciousness. Uh, 
she she uttered quite a, a spooky a spooky little line uh, as as she uh, she she spoke in a mechanical voice that weapon D was reactivating, um, and that is where we left you. So uh, being that we ended on that particular cliffhanger, I would I would feel awful if I didn't give you the chance to explore how exactly that could make everything awkward. Um, so I am going to start us off uh, on the tail end of that. <coughs> However, before we start playing, we should reintroduce our characters. So let's start at the top, as we are want to do. Uh, that Diamond. must be me. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, labels and conditions, right? Yeah, in your playbook. Yeah. Well, I have a freak of minus one that has moved considerably over the last couple of sessions, which is pretty cool. Um, I still have a danger of three, savior of zero, superior of one, and a mundane of zero. So things have certainly changed. My goodness. Um, and I have no conditions at this point. And I have Bull's Heart, obviously, which is um, Starlight as a friend. Yeah. That is my love relationship. And Vigil, um, for whom I am an enabler, and he's uh, the rival. Very good. I also have influence over all four teammates. Very nice. Yay! Also, right. you should constantly have the condition angry because, oh my <laughs> god. Uh, you haven't seen her really angry in a while. That's what worries me. You wouldn't like her when she's angry. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, You're Finn. telling me I don't have the condition angry yet? Oh shit, I don't want to see you with it. Nope. Finn, my man, why don't you tell us a little Hello. bit about the vigil? Uh, well, the vigil. Uh, is, I'm playing the Legacy playbook and uh, it's all about the responsibilities to your, to your family or organization peers. And uh, my labels got pretty, uh, pretty moved up in the recent times. Uh, so they are Freak 0, <laughs> Danger 0, Savior Locked at 2, Superior 0, and Mundane at no negative. And uh, and I have three conditions. I have angry, guilty, and insecure. Uh, yeah. Oh, still... you're you're what what a wreck you are these days. Yeah, I know. I need I need to get on, back on my track of getting them advancement. Yeah. So how how hard it must to be you making all your roles. You know, it's, it's, I know. It's terrible. Oh, uh, I, and I need to remember the legacy matters move because I always, uh, I always forget it. I'm in the interactions with other people from my legacy because it's, uh, I, it, it basically generates me potential every time I, I either uh, gain or lose influence over the, uh, over them. No, uh, no. Either when they gain influence over me, or I gain over them. Uh, and also when they shift my life, when they shift my labels, I get uh, potential. Yeah, uh, pay pay careful yeah, attention to I, your I have, to, I have to, I have to, I have to remember that. I should, I should be leveling up. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess next up is Nightshade. Yes, I am playing the Janus Handbook. Um, currently labels are Freak at minus one, Danger of zero, Savior of three, Superior of two, and Mundane of one, and I have no conditions marked. All right, good stuff. You have, uh, some, you have a special move that has let you take drives from the Beacon playbook. Why don't you tell us about those? Yes. All right. My drives currently are Make Out with a Teammate. Tell someone your true feelings for them. Kiss someone dangerous. And punch someone you probably shouldn't. Very good. All right. Um, what are your obligations? Uh, my obligations are I have a job as a barista. Mm -hmm. 
my school work and my best friend, Daniel Thornton, who's been transformed and kidnapped. Very good. So I, I probably need to get him back. <laughs> well, probably, yes, maybe. I won't, I won't tell you what to do. I have a world <laughs> of NPCs to do that for me. All right, uh, Starlight. Starlight. Tell us a little bit about yourself. And remember that you are on push to talk. Right. <clears throat> no one saw that or heard it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, no one quite specifically did not hear it. Shut up, Rasmus. Anyway, she is the Nova, and her labels are currently Freight 2, Danger 2, Savior of Zero, and Superior of Zero, and her mundane of minus one. Yay! D delightful. She <laughs> She has three conditions, guilty, insecure, and hopeless. Because that seems like a good mixture, right? It yep. sounds like you're in a shitty, shitty place. Yeah, it's all right. We got this. It's been, you've, you've been worse, maybe, yeah. per perhaps. I have been to four. Yeah. Never hit five yet. I've dodged that bullet. Your but I've been close. Well, well. And I have influence over Nightshade, Vigil, and Diamond because, for some reasons, White Sparrow doesn't like me anymore. Yeah, uh -huh. that's true. That because was... I don't like her anymore. <laughs> no way. Oh, right. Yeah, there is a, a, li a little bit of, of tension. Uh, a lot of, uh, a, a lot of uh, emotional investment in, uh, in Aaron Fisher. Also, yeah. also, uh, White Sparrow took influence away from me at the end of session last time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, she realized it was because of you that Starlight wasn't that happy with her anymore. Yep. Due to the little, little escapades they had in in your upper psyche. Yeah, she felt a little abandoned, and White Sparrow realized this. She's very, so insightful. Very. Uh, Was there anything else? No, I don't think so. It's an interesting dynamic we we have seen build over the course of the game so far. I look forward to see what you'll do with it. Last but not least, White Sparrow. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Who? White Sparrow. Yeah. Um, well, I am playing I'm White Sparrow. I'm playing the Doomed uh, playbook. Uh, did we do the whole uh, influence thing? Relationships. Uh, I've told Starlight about my doom. I would like to kiss Nightshade before my doom. Very good. And I knew Nightshade from before he done the mask. I have a sanctuary, which is a sort of alternate dimension anchored out at my favorite place in uh, Park slash Woods, Lens area. And changing the sheet, which I can only do while not holding down my push to talk button. My labels are Freak, minus two, Danger, minus one, Savior, three, Superior, one, and Mundane, two. I have no conditions. And I have influence over Nightshade, Vigil, our substitute teacher, Samuel McGee. I hate that name. Uh, <laughs> not the name, it sounds nice. I hate saying it. McGee. <laughs> Uh, because I want it to be Magi, uh, Starlight, and Diamond. So, you know, a lot of influence. Yeah, influence are plenty. All right, cool. And what is your, uh, what advances your Doom track? My Doom track is advanced if I hurt innocence yep. and if I in any way talk about my Doom. Very good. Yeah, don't speak of it. You will bring its attention to you. Also, didn't you get your first uh, Doom sign last time? Ah, uh, I did. I took Dark Visions, so I might just start having creepy and eerie visions every once in a while. Feel free to. If you want to ask, uh, ask that part of yourself for a little infusion of power, that is perfectly well, fine. The power thing was infinite powers. This is where I ask you about something. Yeah, and I believe you still advance your Doom track for using it, don't you? 
Yep. I got, I have Oz my Doom Trike for using all the Doom powers. Yeah, I thought so. So, yeah. If you want to tap into the dark side, you can. Oh, it's so awesome. I look forward to that. Um, all right, cool. So, <clears throat> when we left you, as we mentioned, we were in your... Um, we're in the arcade, and that, that's where we'll start back up again. So we, we flip over, like, through the, the, the cover of our magazine. We flip to the first page, and the first page is a d dynamically, like, Dutch angle shot of all of you, like, taking a reflexive step back as, uh, as Diamond, like, basically powers up and starts speaking robo-jargon. Mm-hmm. Now, uh... Was Sparrow awake at this point? Yes. I will have just waking up. Nah, I will have all of you be awake. It's it's appropriate. It's more interesting if all of you are at at your wits while this happens. Um, of course. So, uh, Joan, give, given that this um, this instance of like these actions of of um, diamonds aren't propelled by anything mechanically, but are compelled by like uh, your understanding of the trauma she suffered in the fiction, uh, yeah. you you kind of have the gamut of like how crazy you want to go with this so yeah. I, I will i will give this to you um so uh, please take control of the scene it's well i'll say that when when she comes around and she and she says this weapon d reactivating um the uh, um the look on her face is devoid of emotion there's there's very little um of the diamond that the others have come to know uh there for 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 a moment um we did also have this thing where last time where before her her flashes before her own eye uh flashes this this uh boot up sequence basically where it's uh she has a, a yes and no option and and the the why for yes flashes but she's told that she cannot uh, reset to to factory conditions, so to say, because she doesn't have that level of um, of uh, of access. Yeah, you can't you cannot scrap uh, your programming because you're not an administrator. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, which means that that the the um, uh, for for uh, it, it takes maybe. I would say maybe 10 or 15 seconds, but there's a look on her face that she, she looks at each and every one of the others in the room in turn, lets her, her gaze uh, linger on each of them for exactly 3.14 seconds. Um, pie seconds. Exactly. Um, mm, I... and... Bye. She lets her, her, she lets her, um, her gaze linger on each of them for exactly that long. There is no recognition on her face, and it it looks, for all intents and purposes, like she is doing a threat assessment and and you know uh, updating her files on whoever is there. And after those, maybe yeah, well, ten fifteen seconds, it'll turn into all in all. Uh, she um, uh, there's a. a a moment of of uh, w she blinks rapidly a few times, and and seems to 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 get her bearings as the 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 black uh, wall of green the, the blackness and the green wall of text just vanishes and she can actually see the others again, and and she, oh uh, hi guys what are you all looking at me like that for? <laughs> Uh, you just muttered weapon deactivate. Oh, that's not good. It's like a boot up. Um, I really hate push to talk. <laughs> well, what, what were you saying? Yeah, I forgot because then I got frustrated because push to talk. Oh. If you remember, it's fine. Please, it'll come back. Yeah, if you remember, please let us know. Uh, but no, she she looks um, uh, she looks kind of scared actually at the for a moment that the 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 notion of of that something like that just happened. That that's clearly not something she wants to have happen. And she she looks um, kind of distraught actually, and and uh, and worried, and. Um, 
and says I well I I can't remember doing that. I'm uh I'm alright. Well that's doesn't, good. Doesn't seem to be anything particularly And then it's like she has a flash of, of and she immediately looks towards uh Starlight and she's like Never mind if I'm okay. Are you are you all right? I'm okay. Oh, thank goodness. I heard you. And I think I felt Sparrow. I'm not sure why. Well, that's because you did. That's okay. I can I can take I can take a beating. Are you okay, Sparrow? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm fine. Um I was mostly a riding out the storm kind of thing. I didn't <clears throat> just imagine you inside my head, did I? No. No, mm. girl, I was inside you. Oh, <laughs> please. She looks a little, you know, a little, um, not confused. What's it called? Perturbed? Perplexed. No. Uneasy that oh, someone were in her head. You were kind of out of it, so uh, that was the only thing we could think of. Hmm. Not a funny place to run around, I'm sorry. Uh, I've been worse places. She says because, well, she knows what this girl is and what she is made of and going through her head isn't a good thing. <laughs> Not that she says that out loud, just sorry I had to go there. Yeah, makes sense. Alright. So, uh, it seems like there's like a kind of a lull in the conversation as all of you kind of exchange looks and so on. Um, it is probably upon and around this time that... Uh, like the the TV flashes to life with like new like a news report about what happened at uh, Mountain Work Chemicals. It's like a it is so medical. good that we have a TV with situational awareness. It basically yeah. that's exactly what it is, right? It's like a it's like a piece of shit old CRTV that flickers out of like into and out of life with like perfect dramatic purpose. Like that, that is exactly what it is. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's, it's basically it's just like a, uh, like a news, news helicopter. Like it's, it's a helicopter shot of the building, and like everything is smoking and partially on fire, but people are dealing with it. Um, yeah, someone is basically talking about like what what is believed to be like in, yeah, a terrorist attack on on the building, and how like some some local um, like some local uh, some local do gooders. Uh, luckily like were in the neighborhood and took it upon themselves to to get the people out of the building and then there's an interview with like uh some of the, the like a scientist uh sitting with like a little emergency blanket and answering some questions being like oh no yeah it was it was awesome and not not uh, like describing you in any in any identifiable way but definitely talking about you guys it's i think it's uh as everyone's watching the TV, uh, Nightshade's not. He's like pacing back and forth, and like distraught. Are you okay? No. Yeah. Whoever whoever started caused the attack. They injected Daniel with the oh. same stuff that Starlight was hit with. That's your friend, right? Yeah. Oh crap! Well, at least Did he hasn't got any powers. So Did you see where he went. Yeah, well, he tur Did he turn into something like that big uh, Neanderthal we fought? Or that was him. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> please, please don't mind me while I go over here and and you know I I need something to remove a 
foot from my mouth. <laughs> it's, I like like for some reason that that makes me giggle as I'm like trying to imagine like the, you know, a single close up panel of Diamond looking like oh like <laughs> that like, making the O face. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> open mouth insert foot <laughs> it's okay you didn't know I didn't realize it was him until halfway through the fight hey Danny yep. my uh, memory serves me really badly and I remember I met someone right before we went back here what was his name again that yeah, old yeah. dude uh, he is, he's known as the cowl the cowl okay the cowl mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Um, but yeah, you, did, you, did you, you? Yeah, the cowl is uh, is a, a old generation uh, superhero. Like he's an old fuck. An so old guy. I'm, I'm so, even trying um, to remember who's the villain. Uh, the villain was a guy called Wisecrack. Wisecrack, that's it. He made a smiley on the floor. So I were I the only one who saw the cowl? Well, I was at cold. You met the cow? Yeah, I followed the hole that Wisecrack made in the floor. Uh, and I came to the area where I saw him fly off with a, a helicopter. When I turned around, Cow were standing there. Cow and Wisecrack have been e at each other for as long as I can remember. Hmm, maybe that's why he was there. Wisecrack's the one Just who took the weird. game. It just so, felt weird to see him there. So, basically, what we're looking at here is the possibility of us beating up a bunch of geriatrics. It sounds horrible when you say it that way, but yeah. Yikes. I mean, yep. being old doesn't excuse you from the law. No, no, certainly doesn't. <laughs> well. But I am going to have this feeling of punching some old geezer and, and apologizing at the same time for quite pros possibly breaking 60 bones in their body. And it's at this time, Daniel, that I would like to use my new move I required called Game Face. Yeah, tell me about Game Face. When I com commit myself to save someone or defeat a terrible enemy, mark a condition and take plus one ongoing to all roles in pursuit of that goal. Nice. Very nice. All and right. so, yeah, at this moment, Nightshade uh, dead serious turns to Diamond and says, I'll break all of his bones if I can get Danny back. And then he just punches a through one of the arcade machines and I'm going to mark angry. Very Hopefully good. one of the ones that was already that, broken. That actually snaps uh, Diamond, I won't say out of it, it's not that she's been gone in something, but it, it makes her, it, it she stands up right, you know, instead of being half slumped, still hands on, on knees and so on, but she, she stands up right and she moves over to to uh, to uh, uh, Nightshade and, you know, puts a hand on his shoulder and gives him, a, you know, his, his shoulder a squeeze and says, um, yeah, and I'll do what I can to help. You know that, right? I'm, I'm, I'm. God awfully sorry that I. I mean, I'm, yeah, okay. I didn't know that it was him, but that doesn't make it feel any better. I know. We just need to focus on finding gonna, wisecrack now. We're, we're gonna find that old. We're gonna find that old asshole, and then I'm gonna throw you at him so hard that you're going to enter his lungs through his left nostril. He, he smiles wow. at that. This works for me. <laughs> All right. So what's the plan? It's, uh, it, it's, like Sunday, when... it's Sunday. It's noon. Um, you're sitting in an arcade. There seems to be yep. like a, a, a vibe of committing to this course going on. Now I don't know. As she looked around at the rest of them, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I have an absolutely overwhelming driving urge for about fifteen really greasy hamburgers. <laughs> uh huh. Like 
Are you uh, up, I are think you... I think in the in the background in the background of this conversation is just like uh, Virgil rum- rummaging through the like maybe some cupboards in the in the thing looking for something to patch himself up. Because <laughs> he's still kind of stabbed and bleeding. <laughs> like, <laughs> I uh, kind of is uh, like when they are all talking, like uh, he's like looking for for a cupboard that usually has like a plus on it or oh, something, yeah, definitely. you know, and look, look, looking for a bandage, he's just throwing shit out of out of cupboards. Yeah, that doesn't look that belongs. <laughs> like we we like you you get subjected to a, a case of like uh, you know um, like you get subjected to a case of comic book bandages, you know, where they basically fix what ails you so long as we recognize that it's not significant yeah. like enough so <laughs> so like there is like definitely like see you in the background of it like shirt off uh, like with with like a band-aids like uh, sorry like a, a bandage like wrapped around your midsection and it's clearly just drawn to like high loud like uh, high loud highlight like your physique rather than anything else but it's like yep i've addressed this now and uh, <laughs> it's, it's getting better it's not it's not good mm-hmm. because you've been stabbed but it's better, like it, it's not bleeding profusely anymore. Yeah, it's just, it's just still, he's still like he probably finished, finishes taping, tipping himself up his abdomen, and it's like it's uh, he, well, he's red all over because it's like not he doesn't have a thing to wipe it on. It's like hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I so guess, I mean, he's basically standing there listening to the conversation like half bloody, just like. Hmm. <laughs> There's a little red patch showing through it, right? Like it's like this isn't fixing anything. This is just abating a problem. Yeah, yeah, it's just stopping bleeding. Is anyone <sighs> able to? Let's, I guess hit the internet, see if we can figure out. Yep. Where wisecracks at? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, which uh, Twitch. Twitch. <laughs> well, well, they're uh, well, they they are like starting to check out internet. Can I uh, pull nitrate to the side? Like, 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 well, like after he dispenses like the well, quote or, order suggestions. Like, basically, uh, Finn is just like no, like n- nodding to him. Like, can I have you for a moment? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, he's he's like they are in the still in the same room, but just appropriately out of ear earshot. Like, yeah, it's, it's an arcade. Ear, There's yeah. enough space, right? You know. Oh, and hell he's yeah. like, And he uh, and he's like put, puts his puts his hands on his hips. Look, looks on like looks to the ground. Like, well. Well, I I do stand corrected, <laughs> and he looks up to him. Yeah, look, looks up to Nashid's face. Corrected about what? Uh, let me be. Cool. Like I I ditched the the mantle of command that he like does the quotations, air quotations on, on them, like, to you. In the moment, I wasn't, you know, thinking straight. But, and I, I know I said that I, I, and I still stay by it that I respect you, uh, all, all that stuff that I said. But if I'm to be honest, and I have to be, if, if we are, if we are, if this is, to work later and not 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 ferment. Uh, I kind I have to be honest. I kind of did it to possibly prove a point that that you know you know that th- this job ain't easy and you know and and as, as as it pains me to say, I kind of hoped you would crumble a little bit under pressure, but. But as I said, I'm I stand corrected. I'm I was proven wrong, man. Man, you you took that ball and you ran with it. Uh, well, you did much better job than I ever did. Uh, here, and and he like extends his hand, like man. 
and this time <laughs> this time truly truly from the bottom of my head heart and thinking straight dude you you really deserve this spot i wouldn't have anybody else in it so I I have to I have to interject a question for Night for Nightshade before you go any further and mm -hmm. how you respond to this. Mm -hmm. Nightshade, just just putting this on you. This is me like putting on my evil GM horns and like taking a perch on your shoulder for a second. Uh, don't feel compelled to act on this, but I'm telling you anyway. Uh, you're angry. Yeah, I know. I'm sitting there thinking do about this. <laughs> do with that what you want. Yeah. Have, oh, yeah. Fuck. oh fuck! Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! You want to punch yeah. someone? But but before you probably shouldn't. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> or you can or you can kiss somebody. <laughs> grab, grab, just grab Mitchell by the neck and get in there. Kiss <laughs> someone <laughs> dangerous. You know he will be get dangerous someone, if you kiss him. Kiss someone you probably shouldn't. Uh, or punch someone you probably shouldn't. I, I, I punch him. First Combine you punch him. Then you know you shouldn't kiss him, then kiss him. Yes. No, first you kiss him, then punch him. I have, to, I have to say, like, I disagree vehemently with the notion that he should not kiss Vigil. I have been waiting for the queer train to roll into the station. Just, just hey, sitting the here. Queer train, the queer train rolled into the station last time, if you didn't notice. Mm. Or was it the time before? We had a quite, um, quite amazingly uh, uh, tender moment where one of our party members was literally sitting in the lap of another. Oh, it's true. And everybody was talking about shipping. <laughs> I, 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 I do know that, but I, I want, I want this too. So just give, give <laughs> yes. me this. Shut up, Joe. Shut up. Daniel ships the two characters clearly. <laughs> I, we, hey. now, we, now we know. Now we know which, which relationships. That the other ships. That that was stage one. Now he wants to second base. He wants to go to to well. No, it's not so much that he wants to go to second base, but you know he wants to deal with someone who's actually got a bat and two balls. All right. So uh... to bring it to bring it back now, I was just <laughs> just putting it on you that you are angry. Just, just get your head straight, everyone. But let's get back in the scene. There is. Hey, oh no. That is a four-letter word about me. There is absolutely nothing about me in or out of character which could ever be considered straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, Vigil extends his hand, and I think Nightshade just kind of stares at it, then looks up at him, and his eyes narrow. And then, yeah, he just decks him right in the face. Yay! <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> oh, yeah. I like and, then, and then as he He's hits him... It. Yeah, after I uh, punch you, say I just want to get Daniel back, and then we can settle this afterwards. So there is like a, a, a scuffling of like uh, you know like stools falling over as uh, as uh, Vigil like takes a punch in the jaw. Uh, the rest of you, of course, though they have walked off to be discreet, cannot help but notice that a punch is being thrown. Because one of them comes oh, flying shit. through the room. It it it's just it question. That's not a sh that's not that is not sharing of triumphant celebration. Oh. So I'm gonna uh, say uh, that just to set up because I was then. yeah because to be fair I was trying to set up another move. Okay. And, uh, no 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 I was trying to set up a team move and I and basically that's called the team move when you share a triumphant celebration. Tell them whether you see them unequal. If you do give them influence over you and mark potential. Interesting. No. Basically, you were rejected before you even got that far. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I guess you 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 totally like tried to set it up. I uh, I you and you did share a triumphant celebration with them. Uh, and I, I guess... did I, I did treat them as equal. So I from my side I I did all the things. And to be fair, it's kind of like a one-sided move. Yeah. But I don't. I don't feel like that is what the move is about, right? Like if. Oh, you... he took one for the team. Come on. Yeah, I mean, when, <laughs> when you share a triumphant celebration with someone, tell them how you yeah. feel. Like that is. I don't feel like that is what this is. This does not feel like that. This feels like a very tense and different scene altogether, right? This is not. Also, a... if you share a triumphant celebration, there has to be more than one person triumphantly mm. celebrating. Yeah. This. This is. Know. This not like fictionally not the scene for that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, but it definitely did a thing. So you take a punch uh, and um, well, 
like f- for a like little while. What, however you imagine, like uh, your your character mm. taking it. I do. I do seem to remember that um, the the Janus is pretty strong. Like you are. Yeah. I mean, the only one in the team who does not have super strength as one of their powers is Starlight. Yes. Yeah. Oh, fuck because I'm a weakling. Yay! <laughs> So, yeah, probably, so, so, what, so, so, so what we probably see from like Vigil's perspective is like, yeah, he sees Nightshit squinting. He's like, t- tilts his head a little bit to the side, like, huh? and then we, and then, and then we see the next frame from my like, perspective of the the rest of the team, and there is like obviously like a dramatic archway, archway, and we see just Finn flying from one side of the archway to the other. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> like it's it's a it's a, a shot of like. Like it's again, well, like it's another Dutch angle shot of the room, but uh, but the team is like in the middle ground, and um, the team is in the middle ground. Nightshade is in the background, and you're in the foreground, having been punched that distance. I'm, so, like, I'm, I, I don't know about the other two girls, but I know that at this point, while all this is happening, Diamond is just standing in the background with a, you know, literally, literally face palming while this happens, and the there's this little little very very shaky text bubble over her head going boys <laughs> <laughs> that's the reaction shot of diamond just like yeah. a cigarette hanging out of the mouth yep. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's actually a real like starlight's that, that picture... only comment to that is either getting out of the way if she's in the projectiles <laughs> line of the man being thrown or punched can i catch him yeah if and you want to. I'll I'll catch him. Do I have to roll for it? No. Okay, I catch him. I set him down. I brush him off. I look at them and say, "Guys, please. I can't believe I'm the one trying to be, you know, the voice of reason and calm and sanity here, but maybe we should actually try to find Daniel." Vigil, just... uh, Nightshade just give the like pulled a total cheap shot on you. Are you okay with that? Ah. <laughs> uh... Uh, but I, 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 I think I'm play too much. Thanks. It's okay. Don't feel compelled to like swallow mm, the bait I'm putting forth. I, I'm just. Uh, so. Sh- oh, the- by the way, by yeah, I think that clears you're angry. By, by the way, I, mean, oh, that, I think it should. I think it should. Yeah. Uh, does it does it uh, count for my punch someone you probably shouldn't? Uh no, I mean no, ev- okay. every everyone wants you to punch your teammates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, especially, especially that teammate. <laughs> but yes, um, it does clear my. Uh, 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 about it. A uh, second, a quick second. Uh, will he? Uh, no, he will probably just like be in the like stopped by stopped by Diamond, and he stands on his legs, wiped up properly at the slightly bleeding nose. Yeah, you you you're like, you're, you're like the most worn looking person here. Yeah, and <laughs> uh, yeah, and he's like spits spits a little bit on the ground, but a little bit of blood, and like <clears throat> I suppose that's fair. Uh, and yeah, and then, and then he just them them die. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, he would be like, uh, you know, what, I need to, I need to probably change into something more appropriate to the to, if we all, if we're gonna take action, then uh, I'll 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 be on my phone. Hmm. And then, and then he just slowly, slowly walks out. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the internet, uh, what are you looking for, Diamond? Just very. It, it's a very quick search for. You know, I do not actually expect that I on an an ordinary internet search is going to, that I'm going to be able to find anything about. Yes, super villain be here. Big, you know, big mark on the on on the city map. Here, here, be villain. Yeah, no, 
uh, you don't. Like what no. what you find with like just a cursory look is something like you of course find like a Wikipedia article about him. Um, yeah. You find like uh, like a forum like forum posts. Um, there is a like a, a like a memorial site like that basically like is is made like in memory of the people who've died like from from what he's done. Yeah. Uh, and it's you, you, you can scroll me... for quite a while on that page. Yeah. Let me guess. He is basically not on Wikipedia. He's on Evilpedia. <laughs> yep. Superpedia. Yes. All right. Um, no, I'm. I'm. Um, uh, the only thing I'm looking for on that is if he had any known hangouts where he used to, you know, places where he used to be a lot, and you know, I'm, I'm, Diamond off the top of her head would guess that someone like that would hang out at insane asylums and old couture shops. He's only been hanging out in insane asylums against his will. Okay, so not there. Then, then probably high fashion, upper market uh, uh, designer studios and clothing stores, I would guess. But other than you know, any any known hangouts is basically it. Nope, none. The 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 thing you sure. find about this car like this person, is that the only thing consistent about him is that he endeavors to not be. Yeah. Well, that's what I can tell the others. Obviously, it's it's not something that really surprises uh, uh, her in character either. So, yeah. So the question unfortunately, becomes, what, what what's the plan then? Um. Well, I look to our esteemed and fearless leader. So uh, you told you told us basically that you couldn't really find anything. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm letting you know that there's. There's nothing there uh, to indicate where the where the creep has actually holed up. Google doesn't know. No, the hmm. Google machine is unaware. Starlight, you said you talked to the cow, right? Remember, you have pushed to talk, aging. Oh, I think she stepped away for a second. Oh, right. You want to direct the question at someone else in the meantime? <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so Wisecrack's pretty unpredictable. Have we been able to scan? I kind of like go over to the TV and switch through a bunch of news stations to see if there's anything else on Wisecrack or if he's trying to uh, hit somewhere else. Because I do know from touching the chemical that it was incomplete. So I figure he's looking for the you, other half of this you are very correct that the chemical was not complete uh you, you find like there's there's no help in the immediate uh noon news uh mm -hmm. no help on the 24 7 channels hmm. diamond can you pull up a list of all the different uh chemical manufacturers or plants in the area Diamond is busy writing. Yeah, oh. just give me a second. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, no, I'm... Um, one more time, please. Just, I was... As I said, I was writing. My uh, there. Yeah, after, like, looking through the TV night, she didn't find anything, and he turns to you and goes, well, whatever chemical Weisscrack was after, I was able to feel it. I know it's incomplete. All right. So my other thought is maybe he's going to hit another chemical manufacturer or plant in the city. That or if there is a, a storage facility for raw materials. Yes. Uh, because if he already has the the uh, well, he might need the um, he might need the machinery. It happened in the basement, didn't it? Or where was it? It happened in the the lab. Yeah, it was like an inner laboratory. Uh, it's not. Right. It was like still like twenty to thirty stories above street level. Yeah, sure. Well, okay. I'm I'm gonna do a quick search for more. Um, you know, for 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 sites basically, that might be potential. Yeah. What are you looking for again? Uh, chemical. Um, ah. Uh, manufacturing facilities of of a. 
a similar uh, or at least very nearly similar high level uh, of, of because, I mean, obviously with something like this, it stands to reason that you can't do it with your do it yourself, uh, my little chemistry teacher set at home. <laughs> Definitely. Good call. So uh, there, there is like a list of different like uh, pharmaceutical, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. developers and so on there are other uh, chemical manufacturers used for all sorts of stuff but the like it's just like a long list of different places but the chief most and like on the top of the list uh, the, the top two uh, things on that list are yeah. mountain work chemicals on uh, number two and uh, verasign uh, company on uh, on number one yeah uh, verasign being uh, a, a company uh, that you know of from recent events of course it would be graves yeah, I was about to say that that's okay. Um I'm I'm I report that I say this to the others and they like, you know, guys, it's is it is it just me or or you know, this this is a little too coinky dinky, isn't it? Just a little. Graves seems to have his finger in everybody's pie. He really does. Oh god ew. <laughs> ah. Oh, cut! Ah, oh. I I feel slightly uh, <laughs> feel slightly ill now. The, the innuendos Watch. in this crew of teenagers is powerful. <laughs> hey, they're teenagers. Yes. What do you expect? No, it's, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Starlight, did the cow ever say if he had a way for us to contact him or get in touch with him? Well, I don't remember. Uh, no. <laughs> he just told you that you were going to be okay. Very nope. nice of him. He just left. Hmm. Daniel, was there a uh, cow signal or anything of the sort in order to summon? You know what? In in the, the olden days, right? Like in in one of the on one of the, like uh, old like downtown police stations, and absolutely in one of the like uh, older yet shittier parts of Halcyon, where there are gargoyles on everything and a lot of boarded <laughs> up windows and factory buildings. In that area of Halcyon, there's like an old this old police station, right? Where like that was the quintessential police department of the city for a while. Uh, until it like went down like a massive uh, uh, massive corruption scandal and now it still functions but its uh, headquarters were moved to uptown um and uh, and they used to uh you you know this like uh you 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 find this out by like together with uh with diamond like com committing to to figuring this out uh like a 10 minutes look into stuff or so so on uh, reveals to you that they totally used to signal for the cow back in the old days by uh, by uh, using like a, a, a roof mounted projector like sending like a light up into the sky that would then cast <laughs> off the cast off the clouds right so, nightshade kind of grins he's like well i always want to do this shall we go signal the cow you know what no. why not <laughs> Moo. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Let's let's yeah, actually let's do that. Let's let's see if we can't you know. Yeah. That sounds like a about as good an idea as any we have at the moment. And he did seem to take an interest, so let's go. If anyone knows where he'll go next, it's probably the cow. That's yeah okay very good thinking there sir very good thinking i now feel like an idiot well if the cow is involved wouldn't he already have gone uh <sighs> only if i mean that yeah if he knows where to go but there is also the option or the op option I can't word. I really can't word today, guys. I'm sorry. The words are just not coming. It's Microsoft's uh, fault. It's it's, <laughs> it's Microsoft's it's Microsoft's fault. I've been infected by the Trump virus. Um, the the uh, my my point here is, we can. Um, he would probably only have gone if he ha has an actually concrete idea of where to go. Whereas you know it might be an idea to pool resources and see if we can't come up with something between us. 
in any case, I don't see how it could possibly harm anyone to try to do this. Might even scare a few of the local bad guys. So is this the plan, or does someone offer resistance to it? Nope. All right. In that case, uh, let's take a break here, and we'll see how this plan plans out. How it plays out, even. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll be right back with more with more masks. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 